If you want to motion track surfaces right inside of Final Cut Pro, then you need to check out Motion VFX M Tracker Surface plugin. This is a premium plugin. It's actually on a subscription plan, so it's definitely for professionals, but it does such a phenomenal job. I wanted to show you guys how it works and what it's capable of. Today I'm working on this shot where I'm replacing the inside of this coffee mug with a video of the ocean. And because the camera is moving, I'm going to need to use the surface tracker to keep the shot of the ocean in the right place throughout the video. So once the M-Tracker Surface plugin has been installed on your computer, you'll find it located under the effects tab in Final Cut Pro. To start using it, just drag the effect onto the video clip and you'll see these controls pop up in the viewer window. I'm going to click on the Bezier tool here and then I can just click on the screen and start making a selection of the inside of the coffee mug. Now I've actually gone ahead and filled the coffee mug with some fine gravel because if I had liquid in here that would be both transparent and also reflective and the surface tracker just wouldn't know what to do with that. So this gravel is both solid and also textured and the more texture there is the better because the surface tracker will have more points to analyze. Now that I've made the selection inside the coffee mug I can hit track and because I'm starting at the very beginning of my video I can just click track forward. This separate processing window is going to appear and it will start tracking the video. This can take a while to process, but the nice thing about this being a separate window is that the processing can run in the background and you can actually continue working and edit other clips in your video and keep making progress on your project. Once the tracking has finished processing, I'm going to drag this ocean video onto the timeline. And then with the first clip selected, I'm going to go to track data in the effects panel and click on selecting surface clip. Then come down here to the timeline, select the ocean video, and then click apply clip. This might not happen to you, but if your video is all stretched out like mine is, go to pan and scale and adjust the X and Y scale of the video, and then adjust the size and positioning. Now, when I play back the video, the ocean scene is in the right place and tracks properly throughout the whole scene. It's just not the right shape to look like it's inside of the coffee mug, so there's a couple things I need to do. And while there's multiple ways to solve this same problem, for this scenario, I'm just going to select the ocean video, go to mask and keying, drag the shape mask onto the video, adjust it so that it's round, and then reselect this video as the drop zone for the surface tracker. Now, if the mug was full all the way to the brim, we could probably be done at this point. You can see at the end of the video, this is looking really good. However, at the beginning of the video, things aren't lining up quite properly because the surface that we're tracking is actually recessed down inside the mug. Again, there's multiple ways that we could fix this problem, but I think the fastest way is going to be to use another Motion VFX plugin called MRoto AI, which you'll actually have access to already with their subscription plan. So I'm going to hit Command C and then Command V to duplicate the video clip. Then with the duplicated clip selected, I'm going to actually delete the M Tracker surface effect just off of this video. So I'm just back to the original video. Then add the MRoto AI effect, select the interior of the mug, and delete it from the video. Now that the interior of the mug is gone, I'm going to drag the duplicated clip on top of the original clip. And now the ocean is visible in the background behind that cutout. And here's the final result. Now, I know I didn't go into a lot of detail about how the MRoto AI effect works, but that's because I've already made an entire dedicated video about it, which I'll pop up on the screen right now. So you can go check that out. And of course, if you wanna purchase these plugins, there's links in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.